Hello, Jessica Bockler here from the RLF Trust. If you're watching this video, chances are that you're interested in joining the RLF Trust as a postgraduate student or perhaps as an open learning student. And one of the most common questions that prospective students ask us is, what is it like to study with you? How does online learning work? What kind of interface do you use? And how, how do I get to interact with um, fellow students or with the teaching team. So what I'd like to do in this video is to give you a brief tour of our collaborative learning environment. It's called Sakai and it's one of the major CLEs that's available right now. It's used by many universities in the UK and in other countries and it brings together all the various tools that we use to co-create the learning journey with you. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so when you first join us as a postgraduate or an open learning student, um, you are enrolled on Sakai, our learning environment. And this is what it looks like when you first log in. You come into your personal workspace and this gives you a snapshot overview of the um, activity that is happening across the various modules that you are enrolled on. On the left hand side, you're able to customize your Sakai setup. For example, you can um, choose uh, preferences such as a time zone. That's very important because um, obviously we're delivering some live activities such as webinars and you want to make sure that you can see the schedule according to your time zone. You're also able to set up a personal profile. And that's your way to introduce yourself to the learning community. So you can upload a photo and you can share a little bit of information about yourself. OK, so the workspace gives you this snapshot overview of course activity. Um, it does that through the calendar that you have here on the top right hand side and then also through uh, recent announcements that uh, your tutors have made on the various courses that you're taking. And then last but not least, what you can see here on the bottom right are the, the various activities that are happening in the forums of the courses or modules that you're taking with us. All right, that's your personal workspace. So I've now brought you to the CSTP community page. CSTP stands for Consciousness, Spirituality and Transpersonal Psychology. It's the overarching title of our programs. The CSTP community site is really a place for informal interaction. This is where our tutors and our students come together and are able to share conversation and are able to connect with each other outside of the formal learning provision. And we do this utilizing a range of different tools, which you can see here on the left hand side of the screen. So we have forums, for example. Uh, many of you will be familiar with uh, online forums. They're an asynchronous way of connecting with each other. So you write a message in a particular forum. You can see them here. And then people are able to respond in their own time. We also have a more instantaneous way of connecting with people. If you uh, are on the site, the CSTP community site, and other people are too, then you'll be able to see them in the chat window, the chat facility down here on the right hand side of the screen. If people are online, you'll be able to see their name and you'll be able to click on them and start an instantaneous written chat. It's a very nice way of making immediate connections with anyone who's online. And then apart from that, uh, if you look again on the left hand side, we have what's called BBB. BBB stands for Big Blue Button. That's our webinar facility. We utilize this a lot for online live interaction. And I'm going to take you into an instance of Big Blue Button later on. Apart from that, I'd like to highlight one other um, tool here on the left hand side. And that's our CSTP world map. If I were to click into this, you literally would see a map of the world and you'd be able to see where students and tutors are based. It's a very nice way of visualizing where people are around the world. OK, so that's a little bit about the CSTP community site. And next, let me take you into an instance of Big Blue Button. 
here we are now inside big blue button this is what it looks like on the inside and uh, you would have gotten here by clicking on one of the menu items on the left hand side uh, menu on the community side or on any uh, of our other course sites because we utilize big blue button a lot for our live webinars and all our live community interaction what you're seeing here is the default layout and you can see here on the left hand side um, the class list obviously it's just myself at the moment and then underneath there in the default layout you can see uh, the webcams it's my webcam is not switched on at the moment but if I were to turn it on this is where you would see me and then we have the presentation screen in the center which we obviously utilize a lot if we're giving um, a lecture with uh, slides and then here on the right hand side you can see the chat window and you're able to post messages there say hello and ask any number of questions uh, during and after the presentations this is particularly useful if you're joining us in listen only mode uh, that means you have chosen not to share your webcam and not to share your microphone um, and students select this if they say are in an area of poor internet connectivity and their upload or download speeds are restricted then you can join in listen only mode so that's the big blue button and what it looks like uh, another thing to say on big blue button is that um, all our webinars are live but if you are unable to join a particular webinar because the timing doesn't suit you then um, all our webinars are recorded and stored so you can um, review them listen to them at another time um, at your convenience all right so last but not least i've taken you into the sakai site for consciousness and spirituality that's a major module which we run in the first year of the degree program and it's facilitated by professor les lancaster you can see a familiar layout here on the left hand side all the various tools that uh, help with the learning journey we have announcements we have the various forums that have been running throughout the academic year where the students have interacted with each other as well as uh, with les we have the big blue button webinar facility so here you can see the the various big blue button meetings or webinars which have taken place and you can see there's a, a, a button here to access the recordings of those webinars there they are we have a calendar facility here on the left hand side that shows you the overall flow of the module and then a syllabus of course giving you an overview of uh, the uh, themes and topics that are covered in this module and then they're covered in much greater um, in much greater detail in the content section of the module you can see this here I'll click on a particular area so this is an introduction to the neurophysiological approach to consciousness where Les has provided some text mapping um, the, this particular uh, topic giving an overview he's also created a PowerPoint presentation if I were to click on that you would be able to view the presentation and hear Les talk you through some of the major topics in this area. You can see we provide resources, um, reading resources, alongside the module content. And of course, there's also access to the Athens Library to um, enable you to tap into the vast resources that are out there in uh, terms of e journals and e books and so on. And then, of course, for our postgraduate students, there's an assignment area and again, a chat room and various other tools here on the left hand side. OK, this concludes our tour of Sakai. I hope you found this useful. And if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us. I wish you well and I hope you have a good day. Bye for now.